Still waiting for a big smile out of you. You're up 2-0. What's the story? Are you not happy or you're only half happy? Or? Just there to be happy about it. You're up 2-0. The job's not finished. The job finished? I don't think so. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, to Freaks Blazing Takes. Blazing Takes. You could have been anywhere in the world. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Yeah. Sin World, what up? What it do? It's Rick Blaze coming to you live and direct with another episode of Rick's Blazing Takes, giving you the ins and the outs of Sim World. What's happening? We got to talk about some things, so let's talk about it. Look, I ain't going to hold you. Everything gets bigger in Texas. Uh, including the expectation of winning. Um, the rumors, you guys have heard it by now. Coach Sampson reportedly can be on a hot seat if his team doesn't do better this season. And when I first heard that, I was like, my first thought was this is cap. This is total cap. I mean, how many college programs can you say has been Sweet 16 in the last every year, like in the last five years? Not many. U of H can say that, right? How many college teams um, can you say been in the Elite Eight as many times as U of H has been in the last five years? Not many, but U of H can. They went 23-11 and 11 last year. Of course, it was a disappointing season. They won their conference championship, um, the, um, American, is it the American, yeah, American Conference. But then I started thinking about it. That's just the price of being good. When you're good and great, the expectation then changes. No one cares about if you're sweet 16, if you're U of H. Been there, done it, sorry. No one cares if you you can just make it to the Elite Eight if you're U of H. Now, if you're Colorado, it's a big deal. If you're St. Mary's, that's a big deal. But if you're U of H, in today's team of U of H, no one cares because we've been there, done that. So it, that's just where we are with U of H. The pressure's up. The pressure's high. The expectation is championship. And you know what? As a, a Texas, as a Houstonian myself, I ain't mad at that. I'm not mad at the expectation being championship because they have the team. Uh, you have guys that's, been, that's returning on the team like Derek Long, a defensive standout, Carl Holmes, who've been looking really good this season, uh, for, for Ben Lay who's really good as well. Then you bring in uh, guys. Like, oh, don't, let me not forget Freddie Stonewall, who's a, who's a player as well. Then you bring in guys like Cola. Uh, you bring in uh, uh, Kunde, uh Jr. They have a team. I hope they go three-guard set uh, that was successful for Illinois back in those Deron Williams days, Luther Head days. I think U of H can be successful in the three-guard set. But I guess it's where we are, U of H. So – is it fair Coach Sampson's on a hot can be on a hot seat? Probably not. But who's talking about fair? We're talking basketball. All right. Speaking of college, SWU, we've talked about mentioning that some of these uh universities can be looking for new coaches right now. And three of the top candidates uh from the Simrail Prep uh coaching tree would be Coach Dodge, Coach Lee, and Coach Kusa. And I think they're all three great candidates. I think they're three different kind of candidates, though. Depending on where your program is, I think each coach will be good depending on their program situation. Start with Coach Kusa. Uh, to me, he's he's the coach that you want to bring in if you need some culture. Your team's been in a dumpster. You're in a rebuild mode. You don't have much to work with. He gets the most out of the least. So if your team is in a dumpster fire and the culture is bad, and the, the talent isn't great, Coach Kusa is your guy. Because he's going to have them playing hard. He's going to have them believing in each other. He's going to put build a culture in that program that's going to allow for them to grow, manage, and become a better squad. On the other hand, let's say you already got a nice team. You like what they are. Uh, you just need them to gel better together. Uh, you need, you need the, the pieces to work better together. Coach Dodge is your person. She's, in my opinion, a player's coach. I don't think you will find a single player 
that played for Coach Dodge over her coaching tenure that has anything negative to say about her. She is a player's coach. You got a lot of different uh, personalities in the room. Coach Dodge is the person to manage those personalities, right? Uh, and then lastly, Coach Lee. He's more of a stickler. He has a program. He has a system. He's going to run that system. We're not going to deviate from that system, but his system works. <laughs> he, it, he's one of those hard-nosed, old-school style coaches like, hey, here's what it is. Here's where it's going to be. If you with this, let's win. If you're not with this, let's get the hell up out of my way. This is with Coach – uh, uh, with, uh, with coach, there is no, uh, how can I say this politically correct? Whatever. There's no democracy with coach. There is a dictatorship. This is how this is going to go, but he's been successful. So it's hard to argue with success. So those are my three takes on three coaches, depending on what the university needs, what, what their program needs, where they are in their program. Those three coaches are great candidates, depending on the job. Now, if you put them on in the, any of those other uh, situations and try to make it fit, probably not so much. Lastly, before I get out of here, a little Super Bowl news. It was, it was announced that Kendrick Lamar is going to be the halftime performer for the Super Bowl in New Orleans. And a lot of people in uproar because they felt Lil Wayne should be the halftime performer or Cash Money or someone from New Orleans representing that, particularly Lil Wayne, who's the biggest New Orleans native uh, as far as hip-hop. Two things can be true at the same time. Lil Wayne, if he was... To be the halftime uh, performer for New Orleans, would that hit different? Absolutely. New Orleans is a city unlike any other city in the United States. And Lil Wayne, Louisiana, Wheezy F. Baby would have set that building on fire. No pun intended. uh, Had he been the choice for that. With that being said, it is also true that Kendrick Lamar is arguably the hottest rapper right now. Had a fantastic year. And by the way, He's an incredible performer. I had the privilege of seeing him early in his career, uh, and he was phenomenal then, and he's even better now. If you haven't seen uh, a performance, I think he has a, one of his performances on Amazon that you can watch. He's a phenomenal performer, big stadium kind of guy. So he's deserving of the of the option. There's no rule that says a person from the home state needs to be performing. Matter of fact, that hardly ever happens. Uh, but I, I liken the Little Wayne situation in New Orleans similar to a Prince playing Super Bowl in Minneapolis. It's like it just has that Janese Qua, that feeling, right? But I'm not mad at Kendrick Lamar. Now, the icing on the top, a lot of guys are going to be like, oh, man, Jay Z did. Oh, hold on. Pump your brakes. I don't know what all the involvement is with Jay Z, with the NFL and the Super Bowl committee. I know he has some involvement. But before you start uh, hanging him from the cross, let me just leave you this one little nugget. Once upon a time, Lil Wayne was in $14 million debt uh, in taxes. And you can look all this information up. This is not hyperbole. $14 million in debt with Uncle Sam. Guess who paid those taxes? It wasn't Baby. It wasn't, it wasn't Drake. It wasn't Nicki Minaj. It was Jay-Z. So, I think they're even. That's all I got. Let's cuss and discuss this. Talk about it in the chat. Should Coach Simpson be on the hot seat? I want to know. Those three coaches, Dodge, Lee, and Kusa, where do you think they best fit will be in what university? And this Lil Wayne drink thing. Let's not beef. Two things can be true. Let's cuss and discuss in the chat. Make sure you like, follow, all the things in the above. Hey, see y'all boys next week. Peace.